Hi, welcome to the WebMD Lounge here live at CES 2015. I'm Dr. Daniel Kraft, Chair of Medicine at Singularity University in Exponential Medicine, here with Michael Crowley, CEO and founder of Infomotion. And Infomotion is, Infomotion is doing some incredible work in the future of sports physiology, quantified self. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your company. So, um, my name is Michael Crowley. I'm the founder of uh, Infomotion Sports. We are the makers of our the product that people know us for best is the 9450 Smart Sensor Basketball. And really our goal from launching this company five years ago is, is how can you bring really rich user experiences in the form of a digital coach into objects that you wouldn't expect. And so we chose basketball, one, because we love the sport, but two, because it's probably the most complex sport in terms of speed and forces that you can think of. So we knew if we could succeed with a product like this, uh, you, could ex you could succeed in just about any physical motion. And we're experts really in capturing really complex motions and getting them out of a device so that people can use them in a way where they don't have to leave the motion that they're in. They can just keep moving naturally and learn from motion to motion how to get better more effectively, right. more quickly. So your software just won best in show here at CES in your category. Give us a flavor for what the user experiences with your basketball. So. Um, what, what makes us unique is that you can, it doesn't matter how fast you go, and it doesn't matter how far you go away from your phone, but we're going to be able to process that speed and recognize what you're doing. For example, when you shoot a basketball, uh, are you shooting it softly enough? Are you shooting it with enough uh, shot speed or, or backspin or the things that make it go in more? So as you do that, you want to be able to just go out there and have an experience like you normally would with a regular basketball, but get that feedback in a way that lets you improve on each shot. So that means, can you hear it? Can you get an auditory cue that you're doing it right? And can that auditory cue um, give you more than just a number? It's like, here's your number, but how do you, what do you do the next shot to get better? You adjust your legs, jump a little bit more, do something that's contextual. And the way that we process information, within 10 milliseconds of you doing something, you're going to get that rich experience that allows you to improve. Great, so that's a censored basketball. Let's do a quick demo and just show what it's doing with the sure. app here. So part of what you're seeing here is how do you turn on the ball when everything's inside? You know, it's wireless charge, it doesn't have any buttons. So you just have to bounce it a few times and it's going to connect. And that's what just happened there. So it's connected. And we're going to go into a little uh, ball handling app so that you can see just how quick um, the motion gets recognized and what it's going to do when it starts coaching me. So we're going to choose a little workout. I'm going to pick a little drill. And it says, in 20 seconds, I have to put 60 dribbles down without losing the ball. So as I start to dribble, you're going to see it counting. And that counting is going to start coaching me. And if I lose it, you're going to see it recognizes right away that it's not dribbling anymore, so it's smart. It knows the difference between a bounce and a dribble, and it starts to recognize my skill and push me. So for kids that are learning how to dribble, that eight to 18 year old, and how you keep them engaged with instantaneous information and make it something that they want, that experience, that richness, and that speed is critical. And with basketball, it's probably the fastest thing you can do, but it allows us to now think about any other physical activity to give that same experience, whether you're jumping rope or working CrossFit or doing things like physical therapy, is how do you get data out of something like this and into a format that you can act upon it? So you've really got a, uh, a feedback loop here that's starting in sports with your basketball platform. That's correct. But where do you see this heading? You're going to go well beyond just basketball. Yeah, so we really look at the world of repetitive motion. If, if people are moving and they're doing something repetitively and there's a way to do it correctly or incorrectly or some degree in between, it's really important that you don't go down the path where you're not doing it correctly. Because when you get to that point, um, you're going to learn it the wrong way. So, for example, I mentioned Jumping Rope, which we're launching an app today that has the same experience. The rope doesn't have any sensors on it. It's all in the smartwatch. So how can you turn the smartwatch into something that is more useful than just steps, calories, heart rate? You go into something like physical therapy, for example, where the problem in the industry is not enough physical therapists and too many, uh, too many patients. So how do you allow um, the physical therapist to make sure that the patient is doing what they're supposed to do at home the right way right. and not just doing it at, you know, or doing it at all? So by connecting people from their smartwatch or their wearable device to somebody that's remotely in real time is where we see the future of technologies like this and software that, that we build. Fantastic. Well, thanks, Michael. Infomotion Technologies, it's not just basketball, it's much more, and I think a real integrated part of the future of sports, physical therapy, and healthcare. 
It's uh, Daniel Kraft here live at the Web, WebMD booth here at CES 2015. Thanks for joining us.